Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 Chief Meteorologist Mark Schnackenberg. A little bit of a breeze still here as we head through the overnight hours. It's a south wind as the area of low pressure moves across the state. Once it moves east, then the wind changes direction out of the northwest, and it will be windy once again. Wind gusts could be up around 30, 35 miles an hour during the day tomorrow. So it will be another windy day, but it's not going to be a severe day. Uh, showers will be it. Thunderstorms will not be the case. As future track shows, a couple of showers here as we head through the overnight hours. A lot of clouds, a couple of morning showers, a possibility. Lunchtime, still clouds, but the clouds will clear from west to east as we get into the afternoon hours. Clear during the evening, but here we are midnight, and then we're back to clouds and a few showers overnight Wednesday night. Your morning commute looks a little wet around here on Thursday. Rain throughout the morning hours, and then tapers off during the early afternoon, and eventually a clearing sky some more beneficial rain, no risk of any severe weather. Temperatures tonight will drop down into the 50s as the storms end this evening and a few lingering showers possible. Again, a clearing sky in the afternoon. Temperatures right around 60 degrees, so just a touch cooler than where we should be for this time of year. City by city forecast showing the rain in the morning on Thursday. Dry sky as we head into the day on Friday, but a bit on the chillier side than what we've had recently with temperatures remaining in the 50s here through the weekend. Some sunshine on the way. As we look ahead towards next week, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll see a few showers. Temperatures do warm back into the upper 60s.